Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the murky, dimly lit streets of fallen London. I am your Sea Captain, Captain Marcus Aurelius, and this is Sunless Sea. And we are all stocked up to the best of our ability. In fact, no, that is not true. We are not. We need supplies. Let's get some. I thought we had supplies. Ten, eh, okay, and fuel, let's go up to 15. So we are now going to go on a journey. We are going to go to the south, as before we have only explored the north. Now, I have a reasonably good idea, based on gossip and hearsay, what is located to the south of us on this main landmass. So it shouldn't be a completely unanticipated dangerous journey, but we will be touring some pretty interesting places. So... Ah, uh, it never hurts to have some more supplies. There we go. Uh, how about 15? Well, 14. Okay, so we're out of money, but that's okay, because we're about to set off. Let's go. All right. Take a quick look at our map. That is not our map. That is not our map either. There we go. Okay. So we know of Hunter's Keep. We've... Let's zoom it out. So we've done most of the northern coastline, and we moved inland a bit and found Station 3 in the Shepherd Isles. So now we're going to head south, and there is, as you can see, quite a bit of territory here for us to explore. So let's keep the map where it's at, and let's have a good little journey. The Z is restless today, but we shall prevail. Like last time, we are going to follow the coast. That also keeps terror from going up too much. This fog, however, will improve our terror. Make it worse, that is to say. Let's stay away from the enemy right now. Yes, we could fight him. Yes, we could probably beat him. But I don't wish to do so. Bugsby's Marshes. Oh, we have an island that we have discovered. Let's go take a look at it. And we have a lantern, which means that we can do something when we reach this island. Excellent. Quite right. You know what's interesting, though, is these islands just don't seem big enough to support the population. Like, this has one, two, three, four houses. You know, so where are all these people living? Fires on the hillside. Mutton Island. Quaker's Haven. Once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. Smoke spirals from cottage chimneys. A lonely hill rises behind the town. So we can get a drink for 20 echoes, which is quite a lot and I never do it. It might lower your terror. We could pick up a Wretched Mog, which is a new mascot instead of our ferret. So our ferret gives us plus one hearts. The Mog, I don't know what it gives us. But it costs three supplies, and I'm not going to spend them. We can explore the shore, which we could use to get our something awaits us. We could chat with the fisherman, which will cost an echo. And that will get us a port report, so let's do that. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. Little ships and little secrets. Pirates plying the waves. Smugglers at their work. Connate ships putting in to resupply. Nothing dramatic, but enough to interest the Admiralty. Or actually, Admiralty. Now I'm pronouncing it right. Admiralty. All right, let's explore the shore. Wander a little way along the shore. Yes, let's do that. Take a stroll along the beach. Perhaps the Z has brought you something. Driftwood, something glinting, or a nasty glob of goo. Well, I'm a 
urchin, so something glinting, it might be valuable. Let's take a look. A tangle of seaweed and pearls. The stories there are about drowning pearls. They've never seen the inside of an oyster. Place one under your tongue, and you can name the date of your own death. Don't place one under your tongue, because they're the transformed eyes of sailors lost at sea. Stories aside, they'll fetch a good price. Nice. Two drowning pearls. And that should show up in my hold. Yes, so they are. Lovely. Do I have any... What do you call them? Secrets. No. Do not believe that I do. All right. Off we go. Back to the coast, where it's marginally safer. Well, let's check this out first. Nothing. Just a little island. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew grow wistful. They swap old stories of sunlit sea. We near the Cumaean Canal. Uh-oh. All arms on deck! This is not good. This is really not good. Fight! One down. Uh oh he's ramming. Ramming speed! Ah! Supplies. And, oh crap, fire! One down. Alright. Yeah, three of these guys at once. Not a very good tactical move on my part. But sometimes it has to be done. Ah! Oh! Get him. Back up. Full back, full back, go! Yes! I am a mighty Z captain. We didn't lose any crew. I've gained a fragment, and I succeeded in a pages challenge. Yay! You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent specimen, a megalops, of one of the deep Z crab species. But its eyes, normally vestigial in these troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although sparks leap now and then to your knife. So for knowledge, all it got me was one fragment. Fragments are cheap. But what have you? And supplies. All right. So we've done pretty well maintaining our supplies. We're back to the coast now. How much of it do we miss? Eh, not too much. Not too much. We've discovered Watchmaker Hill. That must be up here. Maybe not, though. Okay, here is the Cumaean Canal. Tales have been told about this place. It appears to be a passage to the surface. However, we've spent so much time in the Z that being on the surface for long periods of time would probably kill us, as we're so used to being underground. Still, let's check it out. Get a port report. There are the Albertine Gates. And I want to stay away from the... Damn it. These guys are a lot more dangerous than the crabs. Ah! I can't fight two of these things. This is trouble. Get out. Flee! Damn it. 
we may have to cut our exploration short. Command Canal Staging Area. Here the dark waters run down from the surface, from a brighter sea. The canal ascends through locks and gates and shadowed turns to the sunlight of the surface. I can travel to the surface. The sun is dangerous to Neath dwellers like your crew, but the surface has its temptations. You need two supplies and 22 fuel. I only have 15. In fact, you can never really carry 22 fuel in this particular boat. If you did, you'd be way low on supplies. So this was something I'd have to do later if I get a larger boat. But I can listen to gossip. The ships of the surface linger here. This is their lifeline to a warmer place. Daylight. This would be a prime spot for a pub or wine shop, but the interests of the Echo Bazaar and the laws of London prevent it. They don't like competition. Still, there are temporary half-legal hostelries in long-moored ships. Here, you trade stories with suntanned surface sailors, stories of Paris and Batavia, the Lost Fires and the Final Isles. And we have a vision of the surface. And let's gather information for our port report. The gates open and shut. The locks remain free from sabotage. If anywhere besides London is safe in all the Untersee, it's here. The surface nations have an interest in keeping the way open. Very good. Very good. Now, can we... We can buy supplies here, although they're expensive and I wouldn't want to. You know, I've never tried to repair my ship at sea. Maybe I want to try that. But let's just let these guys go their own merry way. That one's right in my way. Okay, we can do it now. Let's go. Quickly. Parallel the coastline. All right, we're safe. So let's see, what would repairing at sea cost us? Available if your hull is at 50% or better. Just barely. Oh, I see. It takes up a ton of supplies. No. We don't want to do that. We're up to 51, though, which isn't bad. We can repair it for cheap in Fall in London if we have favors owed to us by the Admiralty. Sometimes you just can't avoid the enemies. The Z is dark and dangerous. Ah, yes. That music means that we are near the Iron Republic. There's Adam's Doom. Oh, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. We are not fighting any unfinished revolutionaries. Not today. Van Horn Harbor. Hell's Client State. Be wary. The laws are not the laws of man or nature. Iron Republic. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck. Leaps to the rail. Curls like a cat. The city is reflected in glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic. Freedom from all laws, even those of nature. Listen, your fears line up on the quay, waiting, waving like old lovers. You need to have 70 terror, which I do not. The Market of Hungers, the Parliament of Flies. The Market of Hungers, with its spires and sigils. Is it a parody of the bazaar? Today, flies fill its arcades. Buzz, buzz. Unlocked with another day. Iron Republic days no more than four. 
unlocked with no more than zero poor port. It won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie straight, and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the ink well. But we need a poor report, so let's do it. To record the Republic's events, it's like trying to sing wax or believe water. You do what you can. The third paragraph buds eyes. The date is fundamentally wrong. The full stops bite. You do what you can. So this place is just a chaotic mess, apparently, because we have a tale of terror. We've gained a memory of distant shores. Now the Parliament of Flies has opened business for us. And we've gained two pages. We can basically buy fuel here, and fuel is actually cheaper here than in Fallen London. And we can check out the market of hungers. The Merc folds. Visit the shops tab. You now have one fragment, and you've gained one terror. So the House of Pleasures. Here we can buy parabola linen, a Judgment's Egg, a Scintillac, or Romantic Literature. But I do not wish to have any of that stuff. All right. So that was the Iron Republic. A land of chaos and heat. But we have further yet to go. There are shores we have not yet reached. Let's stay away from wherever that is. In fact, you couldn't turn off your light for safety, although it also will raise your terror. And just what we need which is fog. How far are we near the edge of the map? Still pretty far. So as you can see, here's Fallen London. We've gone down to the Kumeyan Canal and then the Iron Republic. And now we are nearing the edge of the world. Or the Unterzee. Corkery Bay. came on deck to find the metal sharp with sparks. Ozonal coronas haunt the ship. This is Dawn's Edge. And I almost just crashed into the shore, trying to avoid that ship. There's Runeshmi Port. Hoggerton's Bluff. There are apparently gemstones growing out of the land here. But the main thing to see here is the Dawn Machine. What hands could have built such a thing? giant bit of machinery that mimics the sun. We shan't get too close. The sun. The sun. The sun. The sun. This is, guess what you write in your journal. <laughs> Not quite. But the nearest approximation that the Z has Crew's been fed. We are down to seven supplies and eleven fuel. Ten fuel might be a good time to turn back. We believe, or I believe, we have explored the bottom edge of the map. We have. Now we must simply avoid more encounters. Turn off the light. Although I believe this glorious dreadnought is not an enemy. But here we are. We 
Zelo's town. This is an entire island inside of a geode. Grand Geode. A distant song, like a mirage. A naval base with the Royal Navy's emblems curiously amended. Efficient, bright-eyed women and men work briskly everywhere you look. They are singing hymns with unfamiliar words. Hard-faced Royal Marines watch you carefully, barring entry to the geode's heart. A plaque by the docks has been defaced with orange paint, but you can still make out the original transcription. Station 5, adjunct. Asked to speak with someone in authority, what is this place? The Commodore may be able to give you a few minutes. The Commodore shakes your hand warmly. He's a handsome, open-faced fellow in an immaculate navy uniform. His office is equally handsome. It overlooks the glittering interior crystal cliff. It must be as well lit as any study in the Neath. He deflects questions about the purpose of this installation. Classified, you know. But smilingly offers you tea, biscuits, and mineralogical anecdotes. You've gained one memory of a distant shore, and we've lost five terror. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, next episode, we will find our way back north to fallen London. Hopefully, we will not be blown up, and we will try to explore and discover new islands along the way. Once again, I am Captain Marcus Aurelius. Have a good one.